What's good, everybody? N.W. Piper, and um, just outside the Briars Lodge. It's such a beautiful day today uh, on the Oregon coast, and we sure don't get days like this very often. So, um, thought I would take advantage of it by grabbing a a blend that you guys love, that you guys got in your cellar, that you guys frequently chooch during the summer months that goes together with the perfect sunny day. And um, that's a, it's a Virginia uh, Orlick Golden Slice. This is uh, by far one of my most favorite blends for summer. And uh, really thoroughly enjoy that breadiness and hay and, and the citrus notes in there. Um, so, gonna be chooching a lot of this. And you know, like with everything, if I don't hit a blend for a while and then I return to it, I usually over smoke it, set it up on the shelf and have nothing to do with it again. And um, I'm afraid I'm gonna about ready to start doing that with these Virginias. I do gotta get some more vapors though. I just finished Cajun Cake and if you're talking about a good vapor, man, Cajun Cake, hands down, is one of the best vapors out there, in my opinion, which means nothing. But, hmm, that Cajun Cake is some kind of good. And I'm not a fan of Cornell and Deal. Um, not a huge fan. I do enjoy um, a lot of their tobaccos, but just because it's Cornell and Deal, I'm not on the train of it's gonna be stellar. Uh, Cornell and Deal's gotta, it's gotta kind of work for me a little bit or I'm not in on it. And they've done a wonderful job with Cajun Cake. So, as soon as I get off of here for the summer, I think I'm gonna order up me some tins. I'm a little bit worried because in the Briars Lodge, I moved all my tobacco out here when we moved and bought this house. And the reason why that's a problem is because I moved all my, when I moved all my tobacco out here um, from the house, what's happened is, is being that it's not a tempered, uh, temperature or climate controlled atmosphere, even though all my tobaccos are tinned up in um, masonry jars, they're sealed. I think my tobacco is getting skunked. Because see, I thought I could move all my stuff out here and being that they're in jars, they would be fine. But the problem is happening. Um, there's moisture in that tobacco and what's going on with the heat. And not that we get a lot of heat, but it gets hot in the Briar's Lodge. There's, a, there's like a condensation thing working through my tobaccos and it's it's creating a staleness which is a bummer because i've got a lot of tobacco out here and i'm just hoping that maybe i'm just being weird i don't know but i, I do sense that my tobacco is kind of tasting stale so i might have to um bring some of this back into the house again i don't know i got all the cigars in there with that, uh, uh, the Bria ba, what, Bovita, Bovita packs in there. So they're all fine. I don't have any cigars out here, but maybe I should bring the, um, the tobaccos back into the house. Gosh, there's just, it takes up so much room. Um, you know, I don't have the luxury here to inside the house where I've got a whole room dedicated you know, for pipe smoking. That's why I built the Briar's Lodge. But, kind of noticing that uh, they're getting, it's just, a, there's not a freshness, you guys. So, that's kind of a bummer to me um, that I'm gonna have to fix. But anyways, got my aviators on, went and saw Top Gun. That was so legit. That was a great movie. And uh, one of the things that I loved about Top Gun, you guys, 
was the opening part was so 1980s. Uh, the font of the um, credits and the music and the synth and all of that, it was so legit. And Tom Cruise, that boy, I don't know what he's doing, but he's aging very, very well. And he did a great job. And it was a very, I don't know, maybe, maybe we're just getting old and like we're into these old movies that are coming back from our childhood. But um, it was great. It was just, I, I really enjoyed it. And it was cool because I haven't been to a movie in like forever. Now I heard that Jurassic Park is kind of bad, but I'm gonna have to go and see it for myself. I heard it wasn't, um, it kind of, it wasn't like uh, on the same level as Top Gun, you know, coming out again, but I'll have to go and see. Jurassic Park was always a cool one uh, for us, you know, as a young family and my daughters, they were so young, they loved that movie. So they went and saw it and they're like, they were, they were kind of disappointed in it. But, you know, I started thinking about movies and if these, you know, and if they want to get people back into the movie theaters, because unfortunately that industry <clears throat> I think is tanking with all the streaming and stuff that we have online, um, it seems like actually going to the movies is not so much of a thing anymore, which stinks because it's so much fun um, to do. But I think that industry is actually hurting. One of the things they could do is start just remaking everything from the 80s. I mean, you know, if you guys can't figure out how to make anything good now, just start bringing all that stuff back from the 80s. I think Top Gun did actually pretty good at the box office. But man, just think about it. If they did Back to the Future or, or Top, you know, they did do Top Gun, but you know, you took all those movies from the 80s and you just, and you, and you redid them. I mean, you can only redo them so many times, but man, I don't know. Maybe Back to the Future is not the best one to redo. That movie got so crazy, you guys. I don't even know what it's about anymore. I don't even think they knew what it was about. But um, still a lot of 80s movies out there that they could redo. Mm. I'll tell you, there is nothing better to me than just, you know, a good Virginia on a hot day. It's wonderful. So thankful to have the day off and to be able to enjoy it and... Uh, you know, not having pressing commitments or something that I got to do. Um, I hope you guys are having a blessed start of a summer and that you're getting out. I'm definitely not going to be doing any car traveling with gas prices, but um, that's okay. There's, you know, staying at home, saving money and enjoying simple things in life is not bad. Um, there's a lot of peace in that with contentment. So it's not like we got to go drive everywhere or fly somewhere this summer or anything like that. Just staying at home and um, enjoying days like this, right? Anyways, I hope you guys have a blessed day. And uh, let me know what you're smoking this summer. Uh, you guys bouncing around from a few different things or do you got something on your radar that you're just going to be doing like I am and you're just going to over smoke it? Um, I'm afraid I'm going to be over smoking uh, Cajun cake and uh, Orlet Golden Slice and probably New Minster. Those are going to be the ones I'm just going to be chooching all the time. And then <clears throat> come fall, I'm going to get sick and tired of it. And then I'm going to be busting out some aromatics and then we'll be back into Englishes. Anyways, you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.